We are in Modena. Yeah. We are bringing you to lunch to a very special place. Osteria Francescana, world's best restaurant, Italy's best restaurant. This restaurant was literally voted the best restaurant in the world. Okay, we are out of our depth. Uh, it's time. We, we, we're doing it, Ollie. Sunglasses off, come on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, come on. Fantastico. Ciao. Is ciao not a bit informal? I don't know. I don't know. Wait. Somehow, Mr. Z has organized it so that they've given us a private wine cellar room entirely for us to film in. Incredible, right? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Starting already. Why do I feel like I can't speak? <laughs> you, can, you can do whatever you want, you know. That's why we got the cellar, you know. So, Massimo is going to create this upside down scenario of Italy. So, right now, at the beginning, already serving you the end of the menu, which is the dessert. So this is the des is a dessert? Yes, that's the dessert. Is that so normal? Massimo Bottura is the head chef, the founder. He's a Newton. Okay. okay. He's, um, Einstein. An, an insane He's genius. An He's, um, okay. He leaves, in, he doesn't leave on this planet. Well, they, oh. they say the line between genius and madman is very thin. Correct? That's true. And doesn't Massimo mean a bit extra Correct. in Italian? That's the one. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. What? That's he knows it. First taste of the best food in the world. Mmm. Oof. This is really good. <laughs> this is a great first bite. Am I wrong? Oh, you're not wrong. not wrong. That is the nicest soggy bread I've ever had. Oh. This looks like a red brown. Look wow, this. look at that. No, all in the mouth. Oh, this is amazing. Mm. The flavors. Oh. You know what that's like? It's like a prawn cocktail inside two communion wafers. You are <laughs> genuinely an idiot. Yeah. All right, yeah. liquid salad. Uh, liquid salad to normal people is a smoothie, right? A hot smoothie? Oh, this is hot. hot. Yes. Yeah. Combe. Combe. Salute. Oh, the flavors. Mmm. I can taste the bread, actually. Wow, that, that's, Incredible, that's right? like a Willy Wonka concoction. It is, right? Wow, you can taste is. all of the salad in there. Yes. If you just juiced a salad, flavors would all blend together. It would be yeah. genuinely disgusting. Yeah. But it, but it works. It's remarkably it works. good. Mm. It's amazing. Surely this is the peak of the crescendo. No. As I told you, my crescendo does not descendo. It's a cycle. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell us that. You didn't tell us that. So you used to work. Yeah. Yes. What was that like? Exciting. Yeah. Just, you know, working with excellency, working with yeah. this level of um, execution and training. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Oh, that's a panettone. So now we're going to have another dessert. This looks incredible. But I love that they're having... Oh, I just touched it. <laughs> you just touched touch it. Touch it. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, my. It's everything mm. you want. And now I'm gonna teach you something. No, 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 no. Yeah. You don't do that. You don't. Yeah, no man. One does Initially that. we do that. Can I just dip it in instead? I'd be more comfortable with that. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I can't pour it. Are I'm you so serious? Serious? I feel like we're gonna get in trouble when people watch this. This isn't real. <laughs> okay, someone. Lo fai versare un po' di moscato sul sul panettone. He did not laugh. He did not laugh. He no. saw it. He saw Don't it do that. and left and walked. You told me walked. I told you to do this. You did. You did say to do that. If they don't kick us out, I hope we have a good dinner. Do you think they're going to kick us out? Italy is difficult. Shut up. Yeah, it can happen. It can okay. happen. No, it's not. Buongiorno. Oh. Ah. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. No. What's going on here? So, um, these two gentlemen over here, Josh and Only. Nice to meet you. Have. Uh, pretty important YouTube channel and we're doing a tour throughout Emilia Romagna. We visited uh, the best people from producers to Parmesan to Squaccarone to Piadina. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. vinegar. Now you, you should come uh, to Maria Luisa and try the 1910. Uh, wow. Here you're Let's, welcome uh, to try. Right? That would be so, amazing. Uh, yes. I'm going to explain this dish that is uh, you have to eat it a very short time because okay. it's okay. uh, is a risotto, so risotto is all about creaminess. The thing that I see, as Picasso was always saying, I was drawing as Raffaello since I was 13, yeah. but it took the whole life to paint like a kid. Right. So to me, we are, we are playing like a kid. So I okay. see everything upside down from under the table. 
Okay. So that's why we serve uh, panettone and baba to start, right. caprese and spaghetti at the end. So I transformed the eggplants parmigiana into a broth and I cooked the risotto into that broth, okay. leaving the most important part of the eggplants parmigiana, that is the crusty part. You break it, you go down, and you eat the eggplants parmigiana in the shape of risotto. Enjoy. Thank Grazie, you so much. You're Fantastic. Grazie mille. Let's just be thankful that I didn't have a panettone in my glass. Oh, dear lord. Guys, let's try the risotto. Okay. Dig down, deep, dig deep down. Wow, oh, look at how thin that layer is. Mmm. Delicious dish. Don't take this the wrong way. It is reminiscent of pizza flavored crisp. <laughs> Stop. Pringles. Stop right now. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. How good is that? How good is this risotto? Incredible. It's unbelievable. Massimo. That's the man who just came in. Correct. To introduce his sort of signature dish. You have to okay. understand. He, at the moment, and yes. for the past five years, yeah. he's been the most famous chef in the world. Any foodie knows him. Any. In the world, oh. any country. So, Fantastic. here is a pasta course. Raviolo has always been a container of ideas. If you understand that, you understand uh, what we are doing here. The top one mm. is the landscape, north, and the flavor are almost dark, you know, because the north of Italy, it's all about mm. work and work and work. Fantastic. The second one is the center. Fantastic. The third one wow. is south of Italy. So. I try to make a, a raviolo down, down south, uh -huh. but the pasta crack. Oh. When I cook it, oops, I crack the pasta because uh, okay. for south of Italy, mm. it's all about dry pasta. Wow. So exactly. you start from north, you go south. Start from north to south. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay. Sorry. I just want to establish the fact that that's not, he doesn't introduce every dish to all of the guests at, oh, in the no, restaurant, right? I don't think so, no. Usually not. All right, let's start the north. Amazing. Mm. I love mm. the passion he has oh, this is introducing these dishes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anything more perfect from that. Nothing can do. Okay, I can say honestly without a shadow of a doubt, that's the best piece of pasta I've ever eaten. By a long, long way. <laughs> Look at it. This is redefining pasta entirely. Mmm. This one? Mmm. Tomato? Very good. Right? Oh, this is... This is oozing. very good. Oozing. Yeah. Oozing flavor. Not bad, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Just, I, I don't know what to say. What's this? Okay, so this is Southern Italy, where the, it is dried and cracked pasta. Intense. For me, it's, it's too intense. Wow, very, very different. Can I suggest he doesn't like Southern Italy as much as Northern Italy? I'm definitely getting 100%. that. Hundred percent, he doesn't. Definitely getting. <laughs> it probably that's why he did it. I'm going to ask him a question. What? Can we hear you the question wait. before? You wait. No. Oh my God. I'm terrified. So here you have a turbot who wants to be a porchetta. To spread with suckling pig fat mixed with some rosemary, some fennel seeds, like all the flavors from porchetta. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Your food is is storytelling, right? Yeah. When you're creating a recipe, when does the story come in? Do you start with the story? The, our food, since ever, first of all, is the quality of the idea. Okay. Then the quality of the idea leads you to the quality of the ingredients and the preparation that yeah. we create. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy, Thank enjoy you very the much. Thank you. Enjoy the porchetta. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good question. It was an excellent the, question. You you represented us well, Olive. Okay. Good. Very good. Very good. You got goosebumps from that experience. Yeah, yeah. Him this is it's quite a. Uh, yeah. He's so cool. He. But I'm sort of in awe of him. Charisma yeah. expo explosion. Yeah. So this is a uh, turbo. A turbo that wants to be a porchetta. He's clearly had an influence on you. What influence is that? I guess the influence of somebody that understands and respects the ingredients and uh, make a story for me. It's fantastic. And I didn't think. I took it from him. You were saying something I never thought. You understand that? I mean, personally, I'm really thankful that you are willing to come back here with us yeah. and to kind of expose that kind of personal side of you. Nine years uh -huh. later, yeah. Yeah, uh, true. With us. For welcoming I, us into that experience. Recognize there's a certain vulnerability to that and... Of course. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea. Thank you, gents. I can't believe that's fish.
It's insane. It does not taste like fish. It doesn't taste like fish. No. Wait, I thought that was pork. No, it's no, that's fish. fish. That's the idea. What are you it's talking fish, about? But he dressed fish. it to be like a, a forget that. So that turbo, it was incredible, by the way. Unbelievable. And so incredible that he thought that it was actually pork, not not turbo. <laughs> I was worried about my question to you. So I wasn't really listening to the story. Actually, I have to say, you yeah. ask a very good question. Uh, you know? yeah. That's a key, the key question you know, to understand our way of thinking. You know, but, yeah, uh, that's very important. Important. This is another very, very important uh, conceptually dish. What we did here is we used the most amazing part of the beef to create a grill juice. Oh, And uh, wow. we compress it inside the salad we give you the perception of eating grilled meat in every bite that you have. This is fascinating! This is the first step of the Fiorentina. Ah! This is the wow. first step because we compress all the side dishes, you know, okay. inside. From a big bag, you go down, 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 down. Okay. Right at the end, that is like this. Because also the use of the plastic is extremely important. Amazing. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Amazing. Very good, to be honest. It's actually a very good dish. I can't believe there's no meat in that. There's so much flavor from that. And the only way you could describe that is a wow. cabbage that tastes like meat. Yeah. I am energized. This is fantastic already. Hey man, you don't eat anything? You want a plate of tortellini? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're, sharing, they're sharing the fourth course after, oh, after their filming. This is called about. Spring Green. Ooh. It's about the reflection, about the quality of life of the cows, how they, they are treated and the, what the milk and the quality of the milk they give you back. So I would love for you to eat like a cow. Chew these beautiful herbs mixed with the milk that is like a creamy sauce of ricotta and yogurt from uh, from this morning. Wow. Fantastic. Wow, thank, thank you. you so Good much. Man. Smell that. It smells like freshly cut grass. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I mean that in the best it does. way. Yeah. This, I don't even have a, a point of reference. This tastes like grass. I mean, it's absolutely bizarre. It's so finely cut. Mm that you have to chew it like a cow. Yeah, right? Literally with your molars. You can't, right. you can't eat it with this. Exactly. That's yeah, pretty funny, this actually. This is fascinating. Mm. Three star. It wouldn't be a three star without things like this. It would be a two star. This is above and beyond. Like the things we're eating here, you're you know, never going is... to eat anything like this. Precisely. So, this is the spaghetti. Looks like spaghetti and tomato, no? Yes. But actually, this is a plate that united Italy along the flavors. So we start from Piemonte with the red pepper from Carmagnola that we grill. On the magic bus, you go down and you stop in Modena with the sour cherry. You mix the two and you have the juice and you cook the spaghetti inside this juice as a risotto. You go down and you arrive in Sicily and you have the bitter almond grated as Parmigiano, but also the sweet almond that goes inside. Fantastic. That's why we serve as a dessert. Beautiful. The stories that you tell are very connected to the Italian story. It's about uh, breaking rules. It's okay. about showing the Italians mm. that Italy is a country. It's not modern or Bologna. Mm. It's not Costiera Malfitana or Puglia. Mm. It's about Italy. Okay. It's about the red pepper from Piemonte, but also the almonds from Noto. Okay. Italy is Italy, right, but right. seen everything seen with the eyes of a kid. Yeah. So that's right. why it's becoming so interesting and so new. I think the responsibility for someone like me mm. is to communicate to the world the quality of the soil, of the farmers, of the mm. fishermen, the cheesemakers. Because uh. we work for that. We work for our dreams. Mm. It's not about, you know, Mm. Other than that, yeah, you know, wow, amazing! Thank, Thank you. you, Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Yeah. Wow, this is, this is exciting. Oh, look at this! Weird, weird, really. Is it almost cold? He, he said it's it sweet, almost cold. Man. You know what this is like? Strawberry laces. It's like candy laces. I got it, I got it. And I somehow it. tastes. I freaking love it. Incredible. Or somehow. Strawberry laces are amazing. Uh, <laughs> I don't like strawberry laces. I'm not strawberry a Strawberry laces fan. are amazing. I'm not, this is like the, the petit four. This is a Veneziana liver. This is a cannolo, Sicilian mm -hmm. style, but with carbonara inside. 
<laughs> and this is a chocolate with the salad inside. So you have salad, fegatolo veneziana and carbonara okay. to finish and to end. Uh, Amazing. Oh, I love wow. it. We've been exploring the sort of the traditions of Emilia Romagna and then learning about the history behind each of these places and coming here gives so much a, a deeper understanding behind yeah. the inspiration of each of these dishes and it's just fascinating how you've used that history and the culture to then make these it's, uh, it's creative. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the essence of what we do. Yeah. Otherwise, it, the, it would make no sense for me to cook yeah. and stay here. Of course. Every lunch and dinner, you know, right. seven on seven. Right. Yeah. I love it. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Amazing. Oh, wow. Grazie, Grazie. Wow. Grazie. Wow. Wow. Oh okay. my gosh. Can we stop and appreciate, Ollie, that you have been asking for carbonara <laughs> on this I entire have, trip? I have. And I was here above we are too. in here in a cannoli. We have some carbonara. We tried 40 uh, macarons in Paris. Oh my god, it's true. Yeah, I, so many yeah, macarons. I've seen that. We didn't try a liver yeah. flavored one. Mmm. Oh, wow. Is it better than other macarons you had? That is so, that is incomparable <laughs> to the macarons we had in Paris, the home of macaron. Carbonara cannoli. It smells like carbonara. Mmm. What is this I'm tasting? Oh, what is this? Lemon? Why did it put some lemon in? Custard? Is it lemon? Is it, is it lemon? Custardy. Again, very good though. I, I'll, I'll keep waiting. Very good. <laughs> for my carbonara pizza. Yeah, okay, okay. Chocolate salad? This one can't be good. I don't I don't even know what I'm expecting. It is like a mini garden built into some dark chocolate. It works. No, it does. Yeah, it works. Okay. It works. I gotta say that. The bitterness of the dark chocolate. It works because the chocolate is yeah. at least 85, 90%. Yeah, very, very, very dark chocolate. There is some caramel element in there. Mm. And a lot of greenness. Oops. Who? I forgot about the caprese. Okay. Yeah. In every single place, every <laughs> single pizzeria, every wow. single coat. In yeah. Italy, guys, what do, what do you want to start? Tomato, mozzarella and basil? So that's what it is. Wow. You break the tomato. This right. is not a tomato. Yeah, no, no. This is a tomato. Oh. Yeah. This is the way you eat. Wow. <laughs> this is the way you eat. Mm. Yeah, this is like... Mm. Is a, is a dessert, you know? It's a perfect way to woo. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. To close a crazy... Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. To end the story, last chapter. End the story, exactly, yeah. thank you. Wow. He just fed me by hand. Each other. Woo. The flavor of tomato is intense. I'm trying to understand it. It's, it's intense, intense, it's creamy. It's balanced, it's, it's very acidic. very creamy, very it's creamy. It's not what my brain... It's trying to understand yeah. at the end of the meal. Yeah, my brain can't really handle it. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's very different. Well, I mean, this has been a dream. It's been amazing. It's like this is one of the best meals of my life. Oh, you know, easily. you know what it's like. It's like going to mm. an art gallery to see an exhibition, yeah. and the artist is there. And, yeah. then, and then he introduces each painting. Correct. Incredible. Yeah. You couldn't hope for a better experience. No. Gonna go to, yes. uh, to Maria Luisa. Ah. <laughs> really, thank you so much. This was amazing. Genuinely amazing. Really a privilege. A privilege. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Yes, please. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you so much. We will not forget this. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Be a bit bumpy, but don't worry, it's normal. Okay. Is it just me, or do the wings look really small? I can literally move this whole plane just with a little tug. Are we supposed to be doing this? Is this supposed to happen? We went full 90 degrees a couple of times. <laughs> Once again, crescendo, crescendo. Okay. <laughs>